here we are again back on a beautiful London bus so do forgive me if it all keeps jumping up and down but I wanted to share this particular journey and this story with you as ever by the way can I just clear up one particular story that you may or may not have heard or indeed seen over in the US Closer magazine has decided that apparently Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been having private chats with the Princess of Wales because apparently she's been offering advice and you know basically saying don't worry in the fullness of time etc. Now you have to laugh at these stories as I say and I know the most intelligent of us out there here on this channel our community our chums know exactly that these stories are completely ridiculous but it's amazing isn't it that people who literally read them pick it up and then absolutely believe it. Two things that really spring to mind how on earth would anybody want to have a conversation in that light fear of being recorded being repeated and why on earth would Catherine of all people the Princess of Wales a busy mum of three have the time to try and chat away with Meghan and Harry ridiculous happy to clear it up as ever but now there's a bigger issue and as one can imagine it's all regarding Meghan Markle herself and this is where it gets really interesting for me because a lot of people believe you know that it's Prince William that is the difficult one in the two of the relationship and when I say that I mean that in the kindest of ways it's not about being difficult it's about really doing the right thing now Meghan and Harry have a bigger problem because it will be Catherine that is the person that's going to be the most difficult shall we say to bring back on board if at any point you see Catherine was as we now know a very steadfast companion to our late and beautiful monarch Queen Elizabeth II she knew truly what was going on and what the Queen went through regarding Prince Harry and the troubles that he caused for the royal family so while Meghan Markle may go on wearing her stress badge and you know basically trying to make the world think that she's the one under stress back over here in the United Kingdom if Meghan or indeed Harry believe that they can do anything in order to pull that particular relationship round the person they need to convince more than anyone is in fact not his Royal Highness Prince William the Prince of Wales but indeed Catherine she just felt so devastated for the way that the monarch was treated particularly on that last reach out uh, this time last year of course for uh, the trip to Balmoral when both of course Meghan and Harry really were too busy to attend when you look at it from both options it's a very difficult situation as I often say here on the show for both sides of the family but more importantly what one has to remember it is a family first and foremost but above all else it's the monarchy and Catherine and William know that they have to do the right thing and the right thing for them at that point was supporting our wonderful Queen Queen Elizabeth II now Meghan may think she's got problems trying to reconnect with his majesty the king King Charles III but there's a bigger problem than that so to conclude and actually fully point out that we do make these videos live around London as and when we can if of course Meghan Markle and Prince Harry felt that in fact it was his Royal Highness Prince William that would be the most difficult person to persuade in the future to see things from their side the other person they really have to convince to move the family forward is none other than the Princess of Wales and according to a very good source Catherine is not in a forgiving mood as as I said before she saw truly what the King the Queen and of course our late and wonderful monarch Queen Elizabeth II truly went through. Neil Sean in the very heart